Hey, Spuddy, it's Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Brazil. Where we left off, we were in what it can only be known as Forever War with Japan, because apparently one of my citizens sent him a letter saying that they didn't like anime, and that's been enough for Japan to be at war with me for the last 60 turns. Uh, but our current plan is to basically get as much technology as possible, cross our fingers, run all the way along the top half of the tech tree straight to flight, and then pretty much bomb everyone else into the Stone Age using uh, not only our cultural unique unit of Minas Gerais, but also just aircraft and bombers. So if I don't find aluminum this game, it's it's probably just like, you know, uh, Alt F4, delete the VOD, pretend this didn't happen. By the way, in reference to deleting the VOD, did you know that I live stream many, many things on twitch.tv forward slash potato milk whiskey? One of those things is a Dungeons and Dragons campaign every Tuesday at 9 p.m. my time, which is when I usually release my videos, we stream Dungeons and & Dragons. And there's a Patreon for Dungeons & Dragons now. You can go support the channel. You can go support the Dungeons & Dragons. If you like D&D content, got a whole back catalog of videos you can go check out. All right, we did our elevator pitch for the D&D. So if we're talking about developing the capital, I definitely feel like uh, I need to bring the Quadrireme over to protect my capital city. And I also feel like I would really, I'd like to build the waterfront first, actually. But I think getting the harbor first because of the trade route is the right move. Um, but I also need to get a builder to repair the tiles and I need to get a trader to improve them. It's 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 a whole thing, dude. Making this work is just a whole thing. All right, we found the giant's causeway. That's pretty good. If we want to use that to upgrade our units, we possibly could. Lahore is also an interesting save, although we didn't go for any sort of cultural stuff. We did pick up apprenticeships, so all of our mines. Oh my God, I wish. Ah, okay. I need to look away from that settler for a minute while I think about whether I'm not going to steal it. I have nowhere to put that settler. I could just steal it and delete it. Here's the problem though. She got double my science and she got a unique boat unit and my cities are vulnerable. I got no walls. I got nowhere to put that settler. The best thing I could do is take it and delete it. Oh, it's such a troll move if I do that. But it, it, it basically means I have to go walls in every city on the coastline, which I super don't want to do just to keep her unique boat away. She probably has like 10 of them. She'll kill all my coastal cities. Oh, it's so tempting. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you feel about joint war? Huh? Oh, they have a truce. They have a truce. OK, we'll do a poll. Type in the chat. If you want me to steal it, type yoink. I'm going to count down from five. If you want me to leave it, type leave. OK. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh God, there's a lot of yoinks. There's a lot of leaves, but there's a lot of yoinks. Oh God, I don't want a yoink. <laughs> you know what, just to satisfy chat's bloodlust, I'll make a save, okay? Just to show you how bad an idea is this is. All right, it's a uh, yoink areno. Uh, delete that settler immediately. We yoinked it and we deleted it. I feel like this is a terrible decision. What county in Ireland do you come from? <laughs> Just ask your ma. <laughs> All right, let's rush education for universities now. I didn't say our ma, I said ask your ma. Very different statement. Attack the horse. Could have just taken it and looked for an island that was uninhabited. There was no way, dude. It was never happening. I, I didn't even want to give myself the hope. You, you just delete it. They asked which you came from, not where you came in. Oh, well. Uh, let's put some points into Lahore. Lahore? I don't even know how to put it. I've just been saying Lahore for for months um, and nobody's corrected me. So I just like, I live with it. It's okay, I'll put a point into you. Laho. I'm pretty sure it's not Laho, dude. <laughs> Come on. All right, lovely. There's naval tradition. So we can definitely plug in naval infrastructure later. Boom. There is the waterfront that gives you housing and food as well as the breakwater going on here. Oh, perhaps I can hire a man That'd be pretty based. Based on what? The Byream. Ah, it's going to wreck my city. Ah, there's nothing I can do. Ah, 35 base strength. Ugh, Christ. Get me a quad. Morbus, leave the singing in. <sighs> <sighs> Imagine thinking I didn't want him to leave the singing in. Your cities can now train knee hangs. Boosh. Lots of exploration. Nice. Levy mill. Can't afford it. All right. Cool. Uh, but I maybe I can buy any hang. No, they're too expensive. Okay. Pointless endeavor. I just got this city state killed. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the people that were telling me not to delete the settler, let me just point out exhibit A, the Byream. Although then again, 
I maybe could have squeaked it over here. Very, very unlikely, however. Exhibit A, the Byream of Doom that is coming from my booty as we speak. Yep, that's, uh, that's about what I expected right there. I tried to warn you guys that this was a bad move. I tried to be the prophet. Prophet who told them what they really should know. Okay? This was a bad idea. Exhibit A, my navy is dead. I had one naval unit and it's dead. Ergo, my navy is dead. Oh my god, where are these samurai coming from? Dude, please, just give me peace. Why won't Japan take peace? I don't understand. He has achieved nothing. Okay, he put the catapult on the, on the territory. That's like perfect, actually. Oh god. <laughs> oh, moments before disaster, dude. Four byreams around my capital. This is like that one meme with the, the blonde girl on the couch, except it's like my capital city and four byreams. Jesus. Yep. Yep. As expected. Okay. This is why you don't declare war. This is why you don't declare war on Dido on a naval map to kill one of our settlers, okay? Because she'll just come kill your capital city, all right? Every single time. I hope you guys understand now why I made that save scum, okay? So I could show you the results of your bad decisions, all right? Again, I feel like the majority of people in chat are people who are not old enough to make their own decisions. And they need to have their hand held throughout their life, okay? Now that my point is made, yoink, they said. <laughs> Lamau, I just wanted to see what happened. Honestly, I kind of wanted to see too. There was like a very small part of me that had like a faint hope and a glimmer that that would actually work out. But I, like I knew in my heart that there was no way in any shape, way or form that that was going to work out. That was just a terrible decision. You better get ready for Japan with those samurais. It is kind of a save scum because I have advanced knowledge now. So we'll, we'll just let that settler go this time. All right. We're not we're not that uh, invested in that outcome. You know what I need? I need like ancient walls in here. This time I get to keep my quadri ream, which is a blessing. Oh, look, Samurais, totally unexpected. True, I was not expecting Samurais. We'll put a point into Lechur. Right, the yoinkening never happened. They settled their city. There's naval tradition, cool. Happy days. Uh, military training. If we're thinking about where, what our next moves are, I really do feel like feudalism is the right move. Plus two builder policy, plus two builder policy is like sick as hell. One point in Hunza would be pretty based if I could ever get to peace with Japan. But instead, I'll take suzerainty of Lahore because that's worth era score and also map vision. Uh, okay, definitely want to slow these guys down. Why are the Maori a different color? I feel like they should be red. I don't know, maybe I clicked around on the on the start menu a little bit. Messed things up. Look at all that land you could have settled. Stop trying to bait me into stealing settlers, okay? I'm a recovering settler stealer. Uh, I definitely need to pick up construction though. Need those lumber mills for sure. It's about time. Coupe losing his, losing his capital as things should be. Yeah, true. Oh, there's some seals. This is uh, the bonus resource added by uh, Sucretact Simple UI. Pretty cool. They have a couple of extra fish in there too. All right, finally, fishing boat tiles are back online. I don't know why. Man, it's been a hard life. No! No! Dude! I swear to God. Barbarians don't even use science, okay? Why can they pillage campuses? <laughs> I'm not even able to talk. I'm that infuriated by what just happened. This game is... B bullshit. All right, let's think about how we're setting this city up. Now, Waterfront gets adjacency from the harbor and from reefs. The harbor gets adjacency from the waterfront and the arsenal. So what if I were to do like maybe a waterfront right there and then a harbor right there and then an arsenal right there and then a Venetian arsenal right there. That feels like the correct move. It's not about them using science. Listen, let me complain about this. Yeah, I think I pick up the harbor. Paid 90 gold, pay the Pied Piper, we get the library first. City has terrible production, probably worth it to get a builder. Damn dude, that coughed. You mean cough? I have a slight cough. It is unfortunate. I am sick with something. It's probably not the Rona though, I don't think so. Um, there's been some other cough-like disease going around. Pretty much everyone I know got it. But everyone's testing negative for uh, the old Rona. So we don't know what it is. Finally the hardboard. Okay, I feel like I'm being trolled. Just the cold? Yeah, I think it's just the cold. Although it's weird that my cold like lives. Eh, I guess it's not weird that it lives in my throat, essentially. It's really annoying. Right, Daddy Morbus is defending itself. Self-defense against the man-in-arms. If you name a city Venice and build the arsenal, you have two Venetian arsenals? True. It was based. Comet is accurate. Definitely about the time I considered builders because I'm about to get feudalism. We're going to miss you, Potato, when your cold takes you. Listen, if I actually die, you're going to feel bad. All right? Be nice to me. Oh, Christ. What is this? I need to, like, block the coastline. Japanese warrior at north. Ooh, that is true. You will live forever. Hope so. 
<clears throat> Nobody wants to die. Can you peace? Oh my god, Japan, please just peace me out. I don't want to live in this reality anymore. Lahore is worth 12 gold per turn, but it's also the most dangerous trade route I could undertake right now. It does get me an envoy. Kind of cool, 12 gold. Ooh, 18 gold from Zanzibar, though. That is hell yeah. One gold for peace. I don't know why people think that works, but it doesn't. Uh, like it ne Everyone tells me that they do that, and it never works for me. I'm always baffled. I feel like we play we play a different game. People give me tips like that all the time, and I'm like, dude, it doesn't work. The video game doesn't work the way that you say it, it does. Let's take out... I think we're going to make the switch now to Classical Republic because we're finishing districts. We're going to take out Natural Philosophy, and we're also going to plug in Serfdom so that we can get the plus two builder actions. All right, we're going to put a camp here on the furs. The question is, do we harvest the forest before we do that? I don't think there's any reason to keep the forest. Plus, it would finish the harbor a few turns early. Boosh. I lose plus one production per turn, but who cares about that when you can get the production instantly? All right, let's head towards shipyards. That's our next big tech. Universities and shipyards. Big techs for me. And then I think it's basically a nationalism rush. Although I kind of want lumber mills for the lumber mills can be built on rainforest. That's five techs away. I have a lot of lumber millable rainforest. So that feels like the right call. Also, totally need a builder in Sognoma. I've got a plantation I could improve. I haven't played it in a while, but if you're itching for a non-Civ 4X, try the Master of Orion remake. It's nice and cheap and really well done. I actually played that way back when it came out, like years ago, and I liked it. It was decent. It had some interesting mechanics. I think it was remade by like some developer. They got a lot of hate because they were like an Eastern European or a Russian developer, like good old games or some, uh, like the, the guy who ran the company had like strong opinions or something like that about how the game should be because he loved the game. And people were like, oh, you changed it too much. You know, it sounds like online video gamer nerd bullshit. The sort of stuff that goes on. Uh, vague memories of that stuff. All right, we're going to put a lumber mill there. Man at arms. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I need to, I need to hire this man at arms now to uh, protect Daddy Morbius. Rio de Janeiro is working some interesting tiles. I definitely want this fishing boat improved. Can't afford to spend money on it. I definitely feel like food is less important to this city compared to production. I'm production locked at the moment. But I have no good tiles to switch to. I guess I could de-lock this, put that there, and then do this. This way I'm working. A little bit less science, but way, 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 way more food and production in here, which opens up maybe faster harbor. Faster harbor gets you my trade route sooner. Or do I just go straight library? Bus our way through the library. Bussin. Don't put the government plaza here. I need to put it somewhere. It, it needs to go somewhere. And this is as good a place as any. It just basically replaces the rainforest adjacency. And I have nowhere else really to put it. That's the only reason it's going there is that two cities can benefit from it. So like... Right, we got our harbor in Strickland Propane. I feel like I would like to get the lighthouse. As much as I really want to improve my science per turn, I think getting my gold up now will compensate for my lack of production. So get the lighthouse, it'll give me plus two gold on all fishing boats. Yes, I would love the university for the four science. However, I don't have access to a scientific city-state, so it doesn't scale so well right now. Whereas this scales really, really well if I go for traders because I'm coastal. Uh, World Congress, none of these really matter. I will take the culture bombing unit to vote for yourself twice. Earning double points towards great scientists right now kind of appeals. I'll just take the diplomatic victory points from doing that. The AI really hardcore focuses on science these days, so it's very likely that that will pass. I hear a, a meteor dropping. Unfortunately, I won't be able to grab that. Great writers have been blocked, actually. So great writers being blocked tells me somebody has a lot of great writer points. Weird. Weird. Well then, never mind. No, they don't. Someone just decided to be a jerk and block it. The problem is I don't have very good improvable tiles. It's a problem I'm running into. Slap an entertainment complex here. I mean, theoretically, an entertainment complex kind of achieves the same goal. It's also in range of four of my five cities. That's not bad. Eh, I think this is a fine configuration. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of him and haw about this over time. You don't have many tiles in general. Yeah, I have to be kind of careful about what I cover up with districts. I just don't have a lot of tiles. All right, man at arms. Three movement. How much movement do chariots have usually again? Chariots have base two movement plus one. So if I go onto this, I will be safe. I can harvest the stone maybe. You know what? Let's just do ancient walls in here to defend the city. It's not necessary, but it makes my life simpler. All right, we got a lumber mill in Garalos. So this city actually now has production. Can I maybe buy some luxuries? Yeah, they're actually pretty cheap. Six gold per turn for four luxuries in total. Good stuff. And I could sell my wolves for 12. Well, just that was like a totally net benefit right there. Now, the AI very highly values, very highly values um, those tiles. Can't afford to buy out this city's campus. I will place the waterfront. It's the only district I can actually manage. And then I'll get to work on the harbor. Japan still wants war. Oh, yeah. Oh, Japan shows no sign of stopping. 
I can give him literally everything I own. He wants, he actually wants Sugnoma so bad that he just won't piece me out. Even though he's made zero progress, okay? In the last God knows how many turns. All right, nice. There's a pasture. So let's just harvest here. Boosh. The man at arms helps. I'd love to pillage that, but I don't think I can do it safely. City sieged. Daddy Morbius is under siege. Take volley. Pop a mine there on that tile. Beautiful. City's production finally raising. We're taking some hits. There's civil service. We can get alliances. Hey, how would you like a delegation? How would you like a friendship? How would you like an alliance with Gatarja? Now, Gatarja is a good alliance target because she's high on science. How about a military alliance? What kind of alliance do I want with Gatarja? Scientific alliance helps me get ahead technologically. Military alliance gives me potential defense against Japan and other guys if I could get her to declare war in Japan. Economic alliance gives me lots of gold. Cultural alliance gets me lots of loyalty pressure. She may forward settle me. She is pretty close to me. I feel like the right play here is military or economic. I'm going to go for military. She'll take four gold off me. Boom. And then maybe, yes. And then I can get her to join my ongoing war with Japan, which will give me plus five combat strength against Japan, making my life easier. Thanks to... So now I've got 45 combat strength archers. So this is just getting wrecked. It's exactly what we want to see there. Can I just... Can I buy... I can't, I can't even buy the barbarian tile. And like every barb that spawns will go for me because barbarians have player priority or some shit like built in. Ooh, pillageable trade route. Oh, thank you. All right, his samurai is coming to fight me, as is this man at arms. Very fair, very balanced, extremely, you know, reasonable game decisions for these characters to make. Just attack, just attack the human. It makes the game harder. It's fine. It's totally reasonable. I am very triggered by this. Dude, he just keeps sending units. Oh my god. Is that your, uh, is that your Sid Meier impression? No. Uh, that's my, you know, nerd impression. Like, fanboy of something who like will hear no criticism of something it's like you can't you can't tell me that wwe isn't like the greatest methodology of telling a story in human history you have drama and physicality mixed together in the greatest display of human physical strength in the history of humanity i'm gonna buy this tile uh let's build some harbors i need to get my trade routes how did you get that pasture land back from Mohenjo-Daro? Uh, I had the culture bomb thing. Border control treaty. I, I, I've gotten it twice in a row now. Oh, wow. Yeah, Indonesia is coming. Tarja is on the way. The, ca the cavalry have arrived. I don't even have encampment tech to solve this problem that I'm having. What do I build in this city? We built this city. I could use a diplomatic quarter at this point. Envoys are going to be key. Oh, Jesus. You know what I forgot? I forgot to get Kilwa. Oh, it's a game over, dude. That's a game over. Forgot to get Kilwa. The game over, dude. Game over. Okay, Indonesia, Jesus. All right, they got an army. Take that tile, work that tile, work that tile. We will make this city useful. Oh my God, he's giving me a great work of riding. Thank you. Oh Christ, was that an annoying war. Am I in a golden age? Am I in a heroic age? Yeah, baby. Everything's coming up. Mill no, it's a normal age. Oh, it just looked really bright because I was in a dark age. Oh. I was so excited for a very brief period of time there. I just had that actual, I had that joy actually ripped from me. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Kind of sick. I'm not feeling too good. And I thought I had like, I was like, oh, golden age. Woo, golden age. Yay. How many points off was I? I'm very emotionally fragile at the moment. This has actually upset me. Oh my God, I didn't get my gold. I thought I had a golden age and I didn't get, I thought I had a heroic age. Oh my God. I'm genuinely upset. I... The most invested in a game I've been in a long time. Uh, let's go for monumentality. Like 15 away. Okay, never mind. Reform the coinage. I only have two traders. I feel like I would get more out of monumentality. I'm building a few districts. Trader. Uh, actually purchase traders with gold because that gets you them sooner and they start paying themselves off. Mausoleum. Is this a mausoleum game? Could be. If it is, then this needs to get shuffled around because this should be the theater square. And this should be the street carnival. In fact, if I'm going mausoleum this game, this makes my capital very, very good. Now it's a 30, 30 turns, 30 turn build. However, who am I kidding? Every game is a mausoleum game. That's a Kilwa. If I ever saw one right there. Oh, Kilwa, mausoleum. Let's do it. Every game's a mausoleum game. Magnus plus two chops. I don't know what you think I'm going to chop in this city, but there ain't... If I chop, I got no production until very, very late game. So I got to wait until jung jungle mills. I'm actually at peace, guys. I am at peace. What sort of shenanigans has gone on this game that this is like peace? 130 turns into the game and I'm finally at peace. Insanity.
In fact, it's so insane. I think it's time to turn on my full Irish accent. Right. Absolutely devastating. Quad drive him. Can go asleep right there. There you are. Look for kelp and put a water park near to the theatre square. Adjacency and amenities. Bring the brog. The brogue. I, I misread your, your statement there, buddy. I apologize. Apologize profu profusely. Don't break the trend. Go back to war. Hippies love arts. Remember that game was called Easy? Yeah, remember? Remember they called this game Easy? Ooh, Mohenjo. What would that get me? It'd get me a level up with Mohenjo. But I don't give a ratso about Mohenjo. So, <laughs> it can go by the wayside. Now, I do like a lot of gold. Trading with Inuk would be delicious. What did you want to be when you were growing up, Potato? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um... This is like a question that assumes I have any foresight at all in my life. Um, even from a young age, I was basically an ape who lived in the moment. Whatever felt like the best thing to do in the next 30 seconds to a like day, that's what I did. Uh, Long-term planning never existed in my life uh, until I got quite a bit older, say into my mid to late 20s. So when I was a kid, if you asked me, what do you want to be when I'm older? I'd be like, that's a stupid question because there's cartoons on the telly. Now shut the fuck up. Because I'm watching, you know, Sabrina, the Teenage Witch or something. And then I realized maybe maybe living in the moment isn't necessarily the best move. Maybe you should have a little bit of a future plan because I smoked a little bit too much weed in my late teens. and got horrendous anxiety to the point where I developed paranoia. But when I got over the paranoia, I had a, a healthy sense of anxiety and realized that I probably should look after my future. And then I started trying to do things. So there you go. How old are you, potato? I'm 30. Stop speaking my life. Uh, all right, let's do Inuk. Yeah, I like the gold. I like the science. The extra gold is pretty based. Potato, what would be the best call? Peace with Japan or Indo-Ally Takeover? Honestly, just peace with Japan is totally fine by me. When I was a kid, I auditioned for a commercial where I was asked the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I responded, a Ninja Turtle. To which they wrapped up and cut, and that's history. Nice. What a dumb question to ask a kid. This kid has absolutely zero context for what grow being a grown-up means. N nor, let's be real, nor does the kid even know what they want. Their brain hasn't even developed like very much further beyond like I have feelings and I like to eat things like sure enough kids are complex and emotional and intelligent but they're also kind of like primitive little like amoeboid humans all right they're not they're not ready for those kind of questions a lot of the time now granted there are a few kids right few kids who they come out of the womb and they are like a laser they're ready they know what they want to do and they know what they want to achieve and they'll you know achieve it by you know whatever means is reasonable i wanted to be an electricity professor which isn't a thing dude that sounds awesome it's like you just wanted to be nikola tesla to be honest all right we got killed by now so very unlikely that we actually get killed by this game unless i were to yeah i just don't have the production without shipyards which i might be able to save the gold to buy a shipyard in my capital and be plus three production yeah maybe we'll see it's gonna be a tough game very tough game. I wanted to be not a teacher and I achieved that. Well done. No one ever answers like, I want to be a good person when I grow up. True. Also, like, why are we asking what children want to be? A child's conception of what they want to be is just like an invitation to try to like disappoint them. They'll be like, I want to be the greatest YouTuber in the world. And you have to kind of be like, listen, dude, that's like really hard to do. I mean, you can, we'll try. I'll help. But you got to like, you don't understand. That's really hard to do. So just let them have their little fantasies and little dreams. Let reality hit them when they're a little bit older. Okay. Temper their expectations. Every kid these days wants to be a, uh, a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, a content creator, because we've managed, we managed as a society to monetize social status. We made social status a career. That's what we've done, which is like, is that a good idea? I don't know. I don't think so. Because you think about it, how people perceive you is like one of the most toxic, destructive and addictive things that people can get latched onto. And you'll, you see it in the way that people behave. Like there's 18 year olds getting their teeth ground down to get like veneers put on instead of, you know, just being 18 <laughs> and doing whatever you should do when you're an 18 year old uh, because they want their like pictures to look better or something. Okay, we have access to shipyards. The shipyards are quite expensive. However, they do still give plus one production on all fishing boat tiles. So that would be one, two, three production in the city plus a bonus three production from the harbor. And if I were to plug in the commercial hub or the uh, harbor adjacency card, that could potentially be another three production. So we're looking at Somewhere in the re region of nine production in the city, if I can save up for a shipyard, 
which seemed pretty good, it would basically double the city's production. You could be the Irish comedian. After all, Dara O'Brien isn't getting any younger. Actually, I have a contract with Dara O'Brien that when he uh, when he gets too old to do comedy, they're just going to shave my head and, uh, you know, put stilts on me and I'll just, like, imitate him. Uh, he, he'll still write the jokes. I'll just be the one performing them. Uh, our hope is that with the use of cosme- cosmetic uh, surgery and uh, potentially digitally altering his specials in post that people might not ever know that he actually got old. My daughters were listening. They'd like your advice on getting started on YouTube. How, uh, I don't want to ask how old your daughters are because I want to know what is the rough age of your daughters? Are they teenagers? Are they young children? Are they toddlers? Are they adults? You know, like rough age. Don't say specific ages because, you know, that's okay. They're, 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 they're like coming into teenage years. So they're, they're older children. The thing about being a YouTuber is it is quite difficult. The most important thing is that you need to understand that for every one person who makes minimum wage on YouTube, there are 97 people who make half of minimum wage and then another 900 people who make nothing. So really put that in perspective. It's really hard to do, but it can be done. You can do it. The most important thing I would say is you need to do and make about things you care about. And then you have to show that you care about it. And you have to do that over and over and over and over and over again. And then hope that you're lucky. There are other ways to fame, but probably harder to just like say, oh, like, you know, build clout, join groups, blah, 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 blah. Be funny, market yourself. But like find something you really care about, make really good videos about it, and you'll probably build a following. I do feel like the consulate here, plus two influence points per turn is really good. Be a YouTuber, but pay an editor. Listen, I'm not saying don't try to be a YouTuber. I'm just saying it's really hard. And you got to be prepared for the fact that it's really, really hard and that not many people make it. Oh my God, why are you eating the floor, Eve? Hold on, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw her a treat. Yep. Oh, you want this, do you? Oh, you want it? Yeah. yeah. Did you kick it out of the cage, you idiot? Oh my God, my rabbit is a moron. Hang on, I'll be right back. The secret is to literally just get started and make content. That's also true. Make videos, just do them. Make those videos. Let's drop another Envoy to Hunza for the plus two gold in capital and markets and lighthouses. Boom, it's another four gold per turn. Beautiful. The rabbit Pavlov you. she eats the floor for treats and attention. That's actually true. Um, generally speaking, she only does it when she's missing out on attention. And I've been playing Civ for like five hours now. And usually I would go over and play with her every like hour for like you know, a couple of minutes, maybe once a day, I'd like let her out for a good long run around the room. Um, she tends to act up towards the end of my live streams. Man in arms is going to screw your campus once again. <sighs> yeah, well, you know what? I'm resigned to my fate. I've accepted my lot in life. The past couple of weeks been taxing. Talk about planning your life reminds me that at the end of the day, I am where I hoped it would be when I made the plan like over two years ago. That's the thing. The hard part is, man, you make a plan and then you're like, okay, we're doing it now. And then you probably hit a couple of speed bumps on the way and you're like, oh, I don't know if this is a good plan anymore. Um, but the trick is to just stay committed to the plan and then, you know, be open to, to change in course if things aren't working out for you. Just, you know, please don't pillage. Okay. All right, there's military engineering. We got access to NITER. All right, we got one NITER over here. This is actually huge for this city because it's production tile. Uh, I'm going to immediately redirect this builder back down to get that. Uh, I don't think I need builder card anymore, so I will be changing that. It would be good to pick up cartography for the plus two gold on fishing boats. That's pretty decent. We'll head towards industrialization. That's our next step. Do -do. Do -do -do -do. Roads would be handy. Eh, roads are nice, but not worth the time to build them. The unfortunate reality is most people don't have the camera presence to be successful on YouTube. Ah, uh, is that true? I didn't have camera presence when I started. No, that's probably true, actually. And if it's not true, it's probably better that people believe it's true rather than waste their time trying to be a content creator. Most people are pretty boring, me included. Like, I'm actually very, very boring. Um, all I do is I, I, I play this game. It's not like super innovative or interesting. It's just like I play a game reasonably well and I can talk. Um, but that's just because I've had like an inhuman amount of practice. But you got your voice? I don't know. It's, it's fine. I have like very, very average skills in a lot of things. I'm reasonably good at talking to people. I'm reasonably good at playing games. I'm like a reasonably attractive, not like, you know, hot, hot, hot. But like when I look at the mirror, I'm, I'm reasonably confident. I'm reasonably like I'm, I have, I have a good image of myself. I used to not have a very good image of myself. No, that's, that's the honest to God take. Um, I have my amphitheater. I have my thing. I do feel like going for a thingy here, but I really want my government plaza. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. Thank God you didn't have the Karimba presence in the beginning, you ugly today and how to get banned true uh voice and good speech is a component of pr camera presence i suppose but i mean 
I guess I was lucky in that I was like a fairly, I don't know if this is an appropriate thing to say, but I'm like, in terms of disposition, I'm fairly introverted and I like to be alone most of the time, but I'm also a very social person. And so that kind of put me into a position where I'm able to like sit here and translate that personality into like a thing. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. I don't know if that's like accurate or even useful info. I am going to go ahead and pick up Moksha and pot them into Sugnoma. Boom. And then I'm going to reassign. I'm going to do Harbor Master on Reina and then reassign her to Strickland Pro Propane. And then I'm going to go ahead and buy the shipyard next turn. So the shipyard will be getting tripled once I plug out the builder card because I don't need builder card anymore. And instead, I will plug in the harbor adjacency card for that plus five. So once I buy the harbor next turn, we'll actually get a huge boost to our gold, which is cool. I need a little bit more gold to buy the shipyard, unfortunately, but it will make a difference. All right, boom. Time to buy shipyard. So right now we're making 13 production per turn. Boom, shipyard, 21 production per turn. What is this worth? Two food, four gold. Now that's a thing of beauty right there. See those kind of numbers after the very bad numbers we've been seeing for a very long time. Can you pillage this? What are you doing with it? Lovely. Okay, so who's my number one target? Probably nah, Coupe's a bit far away. I need to like find someone who I can kill quite easily. I'm spending a little bit too much time not building universities, unfortunately. I, I'm a little bit distracted from universities, which is a mistake. I do agree. But I guess going for, for Lighthouse does make sense. Oh, they pillaged it. Weird. Oh, chat, the new thing to harass Potato about is getting him to buy a second PC already. True. We harassed him with the streaming on Twitch, removing him to a second PC. I do need to get a second PC so that I can um, so that I can record in 4K and force Morbis to download uh, 100 gigabytes a day of footage. Japan with Indo Ally. The problem is I have no route through to Japan cities, nor do I have the military. What I need to do is just wait a little bit longer because I have no route through. There's no way to get through here. Um, and instead, I need to maybe take on uh, Dido, who unfortunately will be the hardest target in this game because she has the highest science. However, she will also be the easiest target in the game because she has a lot of coastal cities. So it's a bit of a bit of a double edged sword. I'm going to promote this unit and then pillage. Japan has no walls. That is true. However, he can get it's deity AI. They get an 80 percent production boost so they can get walls in a single turn. So I would need bombards to actually take him out. And I'm going for the I'm going for the air tech rush. So the naval air strategy. All the, all the naval and air technologies are at the top half of the tech tree. So you rush, you rush flight, and then you get aircraft out before anyone can do anything about it. It kind of relies on you finding aluminum, but even so. Uh, I am going to trade with Tyre because two production... Well, I guess it's actually worth less than Zandabar. Uh, we got the Consulate and Daddy Morbus. Let's get the library. Time to focus back on science now. We need to explore. I think that's the big thing we need to do. Maybe a Caraval upgrade. I don't want to sell you mine either. I'm thinking a Caraval upgrade. By the way, those barbs keep going your way because of the mountains. Yeah, but I got rid of them. Uh, yeah, I, th I think a Caraval upgrade and then exploring is like the move to do here. And then also I'm going to send my Quadririum on explore mode. I got a lighthouse in here, which means I probably want to buy a trader here in the next couple of turns. I think it will be good to get a shipyard in here. But building a shipyard in 24 turns, I can buy a shipyard every 11 turns. Let me think about how much it's worth it to build a shipyard in the city. The harbor is plus two. It doesn't really make sense without the waterfront. I will place the arsenal. I've placed all the districts in here. It's a lot of coastal stuff. Eh, you know what? I'll work on the waterfront. It'll allow the city to continue to grow really, really tall. If you get a second PC, I would just get a remote access app and have him do the editing on the PC where the footage is stored. But then he might see my prawn, dude. Can't have that. Uh, let's go ahead and take the harbor and pump up. I'd really like double construction of harbors. And I would like units to be cheaper with... I'd like units to be more expensive, actually. So people can't go to war easily. Campus buildings are faster. Well, that does kind of make my tech... My, my path here a little bit simpler because things like universities are built so fast. We'll go for Kilwa after that. It's too important to get my campus. University, you're already building that. Did you go for the university? You need to go for the university after that. Okay. Oh man, I'm way over time in my recording. I tell you what though, we're 150 turns in. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.